5 really is the magic number for BMW. For more than four decades, the German firm's 5 Series saloon has been the object of desire for senior managers wanting to make an impact in the corporate car park. However, in recent years, the BMW has been overtaken by a whole host of desirable rivals, including the Audi A6, Jaguar XF and Mercedes E-Class. So, BMW is fighting back with this, the all-new 7th generation 5 Series. Codenamed G30, it promises unrivaled comfort, luxury, technology, efficiency and driving fun. Not that it shouts about it, because at a glance it looks very like the old car, only, well, bigger. OK, so BMW may have played a little safe with the exterior, but they've really gone to town on the interior. Now, if you've ever been in a 7 Series, well, you'll feel right at home here. Just the quality, the materials, the technology, it just feels a step above, maybe two steps above the old car. In fact, I'd go so far as to say it's probably better than an E-Class. And just everything you touch just has a real high quality feel. You've got this glossy switch gear here for the climate controls. You've got the TFT dials here. And then, of course, you've got the, um, the latest BMW iDrive infotainment system. Now, on this car, that means a 10.25-inch screen. The graphics are crisp. You know, it's the menus. They've got the new touchscreen with menus like a, an iPhone so you can sweep and pinch. But more importantly, it's got gesture control, so you can spin your finger to get the volume to go up, spin your finger, and the volume comes down again. And it works really well. It's not often caught out. Now, more than just the quality, that's the quietness of this car. Now, this has something that BMW calls its Syntac technology. Effectively, it's the engine encased underneath the bonnet, and that has two um, effects. First, it keeps it very quiet. Second, it retains heat, which improves efficiency. Now on this car, which is the 3 litre straight 6 diesel, at idle you barely hear it, on the move there's just this very very distant rumble and even when you boot the throttle it's just a very muted roar. The refinement genuinely is up there with a the 7 series. Now this is a luxury model but it's also got the adaptive dampers and we've got it set in the comfort at the moment. And well it just rides really smoothly, again you're, you're feeling like you're in a car from the class above and the road noise is well isolated even on coarse surfaces normally a bit of an achilles heel for german cars you're not getting very much tire roar so that in combination with the engine and the low wind noise because incredibly on the sort of 520d the the lowest version bmw claim that the drag coefficient is the cd of 022 which is boggles the mind really given that you know 024 maybe for the e-class has been the best so far so this is a luxurious car it's a refined car it's really easy to drive but of course it's still a BMW and so it's grown in size but they've managed to shave around 100 kilograms off the curb weight and that means it feels more lithe and nimble than its size would suggest it's it's not exactly a 3 series but it certainly feels more dynamic than the old car and this car particularly so because if we crank the dampers into sport body tenses up, you can feel the suspension tensing up, body control is much tighter and we've also got the four wheel steering setup, which um, is also in this car we've got X drive four wheel drive as well so we've got four wheel drive and four wheel steer. That's a combination you've never been able to have before on a 5 series and it just means through slow corners where the wheels turn in the opposite direction to the fronts it just feels really agile, it flicks round, there's hardly a trace of understeer and in the faster stuff it, it goes with the front wheels and you just get that increased stability, that quick turning. I'm not going to pretend it is like a 3 Series, it's still a big car but it, it does fool you into thinking it's a bit smaller and you end up leaning on it and carrying more speed than you would think in a car of this size, certainly a car with this much refinement. And with this 3 litre straight 6 diesel, so it's got 261 brake horsepower, 620 newton meters of torque. It drives through an eight-speed automatic gearbox. That's the only gearbox option. If you want a six-speed manual, you've got to go for the four-cylinder 520D. But with this engine, it's so refined that the performance is deceptive. Now, BMW claim it will do 0 to 62 miles an hour in 5.4 seconds, and I can believe that because it really does go. It feels like you're being fired down the road on an invisible elastic band, but it's so smooth and so quiet. And for such a big car as well, to emit just 132 grams a kilometre with the automatic and the four-wheel drive is impressive, as is the claimed 56.5 mpg fuel return. I mean, 
This car really is a game changer. So, has the 5 Series regained the coveted executive car crown? Well, we'll have to wait until we pitch the car against its rivals next year to give our definitive verdict, but on this showing, we wouldn't bet against it. The BMW's looks aren't exactly revolutionary, but in terms of comfort, refinement and technology, it's got the measure of the Mercedes E-Class, while the weight savings mean that keen drivers will have as much fun as in a Jaguar XF. It's been in the wilderness for a while, but the 5 Series is back with a bang and ready to rule the roost. To watch a review of the Jaguar XF, click the window on the left. To watch a review of the Mercedes E63 AMG, click the window on the right. Click on the play icon to view our latest videos and click on our logo to subscribe.